Okay, I had to get the jump pack. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're on our way to, to look at what could be my next big equipment purchase. We have a crazy idea for a project this fall, and this would be a key component of that project. But I gotta check out and see if it'll start, first of all. Then I gotta try to get it home, and then we'll have a closer look to see how many flat tires it has and stuff. But let's check it out first, though. Well, here it is. I think it's a 1985 or 86 GMC General. Obviously it's a tri-axle dump truck. We're gonna give it a little look around here and maybe the owner will come out and I can talk to him, but uh, I don't know, I might buy this. Here's one, two, three, four. It's got four flat tires. <laughs> It's a five-star general. You notice that, Kara? I think they only made them to like 87 or 88. So it's kind of a neat looking truck. It's got that older conventional look to it. I don't know where the dipstick is. They put a different motor in it. It's got a 400 Cummins in it, I think, is what he said. What he said. The oil's up on it. I don't know. What do you think? Should I buy it? Here comes the owner. You can shut off for a minute. 15 minutes later. Oh, well, I bought it. <laughs> so I, I'll give you a little history on this truck. I was actually the last person that we think drove this truck. This belongs to a friend of ours. Matter of fact, very astute viewers of this channel may have seen this truck before. This is where I brought the firewood processor and hauled all the logs. And in one of one or two clips, you can see me driving by in the dump truck. And this truck, I think, is in the background. And I had thought about buying it then. So I've been working on this for a while. So I know the owner. It hasn't been plated since 2016, but it has been started periodically. So. I have not tried to start it, but I think it'll start right up. If it starts right up and it airs up, I'm gonna try to drive it home tonight. We only live a couple miles from here, so. It's got juice. Engine button's right here. Oh my gosh. Started right up. Sounds great, doesn't it? I went ahead and bought this trailer too. And it kept him from having to unhook it. If we get done with our project, then I might try to just sell this outfit. So we'll see how it goes. But And I'm going to call it the project for now because I'm not sure if we're even going to do it. The air pressure pumped right up. Okay, I'm going to see if it, uh, the brakes release and it looks good out there. Oh, I don't know where the door handle is can't get out. Where's the door handle? Kara, the door's latched and I can't get out. Can you run the latch so I can see which way it goes? It's at the bottom. Maybe it's locked. Hold on. Okay, now try it. Okay, wait, let me try it again. Push it. All right, now I know how it works. Okay, let's see if it moves. Well, it's moving good. Seems to be working pretty good. Ready to go home with it? Sure. So it started up no problem. It moves just fine. The brakes seem to work. I'm gonna go ahead and just see if I can get this home. I don't know, the clutch brake may not work very good. There we go. We'll see if we can get it home and then I'll do a thorough like look over. I'll show you a little bit more in depth. Here we go. rolling. Whoa, it doesn't turn. It takes 40 acres to turn it. made it home. 
Well, it made it home. It doesn't turn very short. All right. It's 9.15 at night. We'll close this out and take a closer look tomorrow. All right, have I lost my mind by buying a triaxle dump truck? So here's a few things to know about this before we start looking at it. I bought it from a family friend of ours. I've been familiar with the truck for a good long while now, like 20 years they've had this truck or more. I'm not gonna talk about price, but let's just say it was a good price. I'm not gonna use it on an over the road type capacity. I'm not gonna try to put this truck on the road and start hauling material every day. This is gonna be more like a farm use type thing. And more specifically, I have one major project in mind to complete with this truck because of a few unique opportunities that have presented themselves for this year, this season. And because of those unique opportunities, I wanted to take advantage of this. Well, I just asked him, do you wanna sell it to me? And he said, yes. So with that being said, let's take a closer look and just see what I got myself into because these are the things I should have done before I actually spent the money on it. So it is a reman, but it's 400 horsepower. I know this thing gets up and goes down a road. It is no slouch. And it's been in this truck for over 20 years. I'm gonna assume the engine is A-OK. -okay. I don't know that much about big truck engines. I don't know if that's a good engine. I haven't, I assume it is. I don't know, tell me down below. Educate me a little. I could Google it and make myself look all smart, but it has an engine and it runs. Check. Okay, I'll show you what it's got for a transmission. All aluminum cab, by the way. The GoPro mount won't stick to anything. So the window regulator is bad. You know, I actually did look up a few other GMC Generals when I was looking into this and I saw at least two other trucks where they had the door panel off on the driver's door, driver's door. So I'm assuming that window regulator thing is a problem. Probably no recall on that anymore. All right, I guess what you'd call this an eight speed. It's got kind of a goofy shift pattern. One, two, three, and then four. Then you go to the high range and that's five, six, seven, eight. So that's a little bit different. So we'll take it out for another drive and I'll talk about the shifting a little bit more. I got to get a place to put a camera in here so you can see what's going on, but I had trouble shifting it on the way over here. Hopefully I can, I can get that ironed out. I was also trying to film and fly a drone while I drove it over. So one of the things it's going to need if you do put it on the road or if I do put it on the road, which I'm not, is tires. This one's cupped really bad on the inside. It's got these big floaters on the front. They're 385, 65, 22 fives. This is a super single here, but so that could be a result of the kingpins being bad. I'm not sure. I'm going to probably have to have somebody check out the kingpins, but here's the current tire situation. Tires are all mismatched. This is one of those deals where you got one tire go bad and you replace it and you just keep going like that for a while. But there's a few flat ones. I don't know if that air tag axle works or not. That's one thing we got to check out. Oh, I never even tried the bed yet. We got to try the bed, see if it goes up and down. <laughs> It's going to be critical. It does start right up though. PTO works. There it goes. It's low on oil, but it works. That's pretty typical for Northeast Indiana. Believe it or not, that's not bad. Depending on where you're from, the frame looks really good. Now I'm being very mindful not to get underneath that bed. You can see the frame looks really good. There's no, there's no puffiness in the frame, like a lot of rusty swelling. It doesn't look too bad. It does have an air tailgate. I have no idea if that works. Let's give that a try. It's really nice that that works. Wow. I hear air moving. It works. Wow, almost everything works. Tail lights work. He's got the piece that came out of there, so I may be able to fix that, but look at that. Even the lights work. Chicken lights work too, all of them. Okay, that's no big deal, look at that. I think it's time for another drive. I think they weigh 
down low. Five. Six. Seven. There's eight. That road pretty good. Yeah, let's try to take it back. I don't think it turns as sharp to the right as it does to the left. I mean, I don't think it, yeah, I don't think it, I think it turns sharper to the left. I gotta find the shift points. It's only my second time driving it in 10 years. There's all eight gears, that ain't bad. I don't know, the test drive went pretty good. I'm getting the shifting a little bit better. By the way, this is a CDL truck. You have to have a CDL to drive this truck. And I, I got my CDL when I was 18. So we're all good there, but there's a few little things to fix up. My priorities right now are tires and brakes and I wanna make sure it's safe. Other than that, I think I could haul dirt with it. So we've got that project hopefully coming up in the later part of summer, early fall for the general here. Like I said, I don't wanna jinx it. Every time I talk about a project on this channel, I never do it. So I am a collector of projects, but this one, there's a timeline. Take some guesses on what you think the project is. I think it might work out pretty good. I hope you'll stick around for that. I wanna thank you so much for clicking on this video. If I'm lucky, I will see you in the next one. All right, take care. Well, I've wanted a dump truck since I was about 10 years old. And, uh, well, this makes six of them now, so I don't know where I was going with that, but this is as big as I want, though. Hey, why aren't you working on the Bronco or why aren't you working on the tractor? And I completely get that. It's not a will it start video because it started right up. It's not a restoration video because I'm not going to restore it and get it fixed. It's more of an assessment, a walk around, a walk around video. That's what it is.